Now, mm-hmm. class, uh-huh. comments are made of gas, just like mm-hmm. our farts. <laughs> you said farts. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to JBox Studios, your home for reviews, reactions, and ridiculousness. Anyways, though, tonight we had a digital public early screening, which never happens at all. Like, everything is crazy, but it's Gerard Butler. He's saving the world once again. No, not Geostorm 2, but rather Greenland. A man, his estranged wife, and young son embark on a journey to find sanctuary as a planet-killing comet hurdles towards Earth. So is this new Greenland Gerard Butler movie exactly what you think it's gonna be? Let's find out. But before I get into my thoughts, let me know what you guys thought of Greenland. If you are lucky enough to see this early or looking forward to this movie, I think coming in a couple weeks or maybe they delayed this. I'm not entirely sure. Anyways, now let's get into some of the good. So yes, Gerard Butler, he seems to be running the gamut of always starring in a movie, saving the world, saving the president, saving someone essentially. And this Greenland movie I thought was going to be beat for beat exactly deep impact geostorm all of that packed into one but i was pleasantly surprised by greenland like this movie does take that trope of end of the world comet asteroid world ending scenario people running to try to get to rescue by the end of time or the nick of time and you know you've seen that concept done before but the way that they did everything in this movie the way they laid it out actually worked fairly well i mean sure it has kind of your uh familiar tropes of like someone can't get through a checkpoint or someone you know has this broken relationship and this tragic event mends that relationship back together but I think that again the way that they pieced all of this together not going fully over the top like they had enough world ending material that I thought catered to that crowd but also catered to someone being like hey we're kind of taking this a little bit seriously we're not going over the top we're not having like these kind of goofy lines out of nowhere like there is a couple funny subtle lines of humor in there that I thought worked but they're not playing it up entirely to be like okay this is complete 90s world ending cheese kind of like a deep impact like I said before but also there's there's some scenes that are very like oh god that came out of nowhere like you know asteroids falling down that very much reminded me of Dante's Peak, which if you guys remember that, that's one of my favorite 90s volcano movies. So yeah, I just really enjoyed a lot of what was going on in this movie from kind of the setup, the world and material. But Gerard Butler actually turns in a somewhat emotional and heartfelt family story in this movie i mean i think that that core family dynamic at the core of this movie of them coming together a broken relationship them getting split apart and then coming back together to you know become a family again very much worked like i was i wouldn't say i was teary-eyed and whatnot but this was more of a heartfelt emotional story that i think that they diverted from that like over the top you know world ending material to more of a personal story of this man of this woman of their kid and mending that relationship while also trying to survive this world ending material and and honestly that heartfelt moment that core to this movie actually i think enhanced greenland so much more for me sure you know you're getting that over the top stuff where someone gets hit by a flaming asteroid someone's on fire someone gets impaled by something so if you're looking for that don't worry it is there but there's that heartfelt gerard butler storyline in there as well now for the negatives honestly i didn't have anything completely glaring i mean sure some of the story just does kind of jump from place to place without some filler material or without a cohesive plot line to really tie them together and a lot of different threads of oh you've seen this in a post-apocalyptic type movie of someone crossing someone someone doing this you know someone being kidnapped essentially someone saying there's someone that they're not you know you know what i mean you've seen one of those movies or you've seen any post-apocalyptic or disaster movie and you know the tropes so there are pieces of that laid out here in greenland but it's not enough to honestly 
knock this movie down too much. I will say that the ending, maybe the ending was a little bit, maybe the last like five minutes, I think it was, was something that I wish that they would have cut a little bit earlier. Um, again, no spoilers, but it's just a small nitpick for myself. Overall, Greenland is a world-ending Gerard Butler movie that surprisingly has some heart to it. With it featuring that over-the-top world-ending cheese, but also reeling it back to kind of this family dynamic at the core of this movie with Gerard Butler surprisingly being heartfelt, but with some of those disaster movie tropes also in this movie, and a few plot beats that do seem like they jump from here to here, I'd recommend checking out Greenland. I went into this expecting Geostorm 2, complete cheese, over-the-top ridiculousness. I actually got something I fully enjoyed, and I had a good time from beginning to end, from the heartfelt moments to the asteroids exploding people parts. In closing, I'm going to give Greenland 3.5 out of 5, Gerard Butler saving the day. So what did you guys think of Greenland? If you've already seen this one, looking forward to this, or don't even know what the hell this movie is, I want to know in the comments down below. Anyways, though, as always, thank you so much for watching. Watch some more videos up there or right over there, you know, brand new content every single week here on the JBox Studios channel. I think on Friday, hopefully I'll have an ending explained poorly for Antebellum. Stay tuned for that. Otherwise, follow all of my social media down there to stay up to date on everything this channel has. Like this video, subscribe to the JBox Studios channel, and until next time, we'll see you later.